Today for our storylines, I headed to Blue Ridge Bagels in Lynchburg, Virginia, and which is owned by Cheryl and Barry Kane. Known for its famous bagels, coffee, and donuts, Blue Ridge Bagels is one of the favorite spots for Lynchburg locals. Since moving from their location in Bedford, Virginia in 2014, owners Cheryl and Barry have experienced a lot of success with this business, and they shared with me their storyline of Blue Ridge Bagels. There was a, a Blue Ridge Bagels in Bedford. I, at the time I was working for city, the city of Lynchburg, and um, I had been there almost 10 years, and I needed to get out. They were selling the business, and so we decided to buy it, and um, we started going to church up there. So we could influence people to, you know, hey, come to church with us in Bedford, because we knew that if we said, hey, come to church with us in Lynchburg, they would never come. So in 2014, uh, our landlord came to us and said he needed us to move. They wanted to open their own business to bring back their family restaurant. So we need to leave. So we're like, oh my goodness, you know, what are we going to do? But God had prepared this little place for whatever reason. We would go by here all the time. And so I had seen the building and I said, you know, Barry, somewhere down the road five years from now, if we just said we're going to expand. That, I like that little building, I don't know why, but it's got a little charm to it. So I think God was preparing my heart already for a move. I just didn't know it at the time. So. And from my perspective, I was uh, teaching school at the time whenever we found out there was a contest going on to win Blue Ridge Bagels. Um, once that fell through, then we decided to purchase it during my spring break. So I had the best spring break story that I bought a bagel shop during spring break where everyone else just went to Florida. I, I'd always said that someday I'd like to open a restaurant whenever I retire from teaching and that was coming in 2014 which actually coincided with the time that we uh, found out that we were going to have to move our, from our current location. So I'd given my notice to retire from teaching after 30 years. And with the gathered knowledge of being in another profession for so long, Barry and Cheryl knew that showing compassion for their customers would be the roots that Blue Ridge Bagels will be founded on. We are a mom and pop business and so therefore we have a vested interest in the community itself and I think that makes us different. But the people that work for us care about each individual person and we try to learn each person's name. I think um, there's a lot of people out there that are really hurting and I think when you when they come in and we get to know them by name and we maybe know a little bit of, about their story or whatever, um, I think they, they truly realize that we really do care. On those hard days, if you have something like that where somebody comes in and they're troubled or whatever, and you take the time to sit down and talk to them, maybe pray with them or whatever, I, I, I mean, I think that really, you feel like at that point, you know, well, I, I, I truly am making a difference. The process behind the plot to every story evolves over time, and which is what makes Blue Ridge Bagels so unique. My storyline is uh, I, I knew I wanted to do something whenever I finished, uh, retired from teaching, and, uh, and this was a way that I could be still around people and, um, and do something I love to do and know that I'm, I'm going to do this for about another 20 years. God really has had his hand on us, you know, he knew what we needed and, um, you know, uh, since we moved here, well, right before we moved, you know, we have two daughters, our daughters had gotten married and so it's like, okay, well, what do we do now, you know, so it, it's kind of been a good Thing for us. Yeah. And we could not have done this at another point of our life. When we had young children, we could not have worked 70, 80, 90 hours a week. And so it, uh, I think that's why it was uh, holding off until this time. Um, yeah. the, the doors didn't open for us until the time that we had the uh, availability to do this too. So we used to think 40 hours was a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.